Now we're here at Thorn Bros, okay? And my homie Tong here, he's actually gonna show us how he replaces the uh, inductor in the SV spools, okay? So let's go ahead and get it going. You can feel free to talk too if you want, Tong. Okay. So that's the SV spool and Daiwa Steez. Yeah, this is a tricky part here. You want to, you want to make sure you don't lose a pin, uh, the the clip. So you want to make sure you put your finger behind it. Yep. Okay. Mmm. That's the inductor right there. Yep. I got the replacement from tackletrap.com too. SV spool. There you go. Here you go. Right out that inductor. Yeah. Could you show us what was broken on it compared to like a new one or something? So this this is the broken one here. Um and this is the this is the new one here. Uh so what's broken is these little two foot right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I was having terrible casting and the braking system was just terrible on the SV. So yeah, when the foot the when the foot uh, break off, the the inductor will spin around the shaft and then um, your magnetic brakes doesn't work properly. That's true. That's true. That makes sense. So pretty much now it's just putting it all back together, huh? Yeah. Okay. Nice and simple. So you want to make sure when you put it back in those two foot, it's seated in these in, in these two hole. I don't know if you can see it or not, but oh okay, you can kind of see it. Yep, there. make sure it's seated in there. Oh, gotcha. There you go. Awesome. That's snapping. Like that, yep. huh? And then make sure this uh, other oh, not that part. The inductor uh, ring goes back in there. Okay. Only going one way. You, you can't go the other way around. Oh, okay. And then the spring, and then the um, washer. Ooh. This is the tricky part here. Oh, so you, you gotta pretty much hold it in, huh? Yeah, this is. Yeah, it's not the best of view right now. Mm -hmm. Not the best of view, guys. I do apologize if you see it kind of shaky or not just seeing the full picture. We don't really have the correct setup, and this is just kind of like on the go. So hopefully it helps you guys understand how the SV replacement um, goes, especially if your braking system is jacked up. But I... I, I I saw that there was no videos on YouTube, so I decided to uh, ask Tong, and luckily he was nice enough to let us record him, show us the process. He is the master man here at Thorn Bros. Dang, that is pretty tricky, huh? Yeah, it takes a little a couple of finessing. Nice. Okay, finally in. Good job, Tom. Back in business. Professional getting it all done here. Thank you so much, Tom. Alrighty, there you go. Sounds good. Thank you, boss. Oh! You look like a big one? Yeah, dude. Ooh, look at that boil. <laughs> I, oh, fucking god. Either 
I saw a big bass or a big fight. Oof, you got him. You got him. What the follow up? Dude, it's pretty big. Dude, it's a big one. Man, I just said give me one bass. Oh, it's a big one. Dude, that's a big one. Good follow up. With the jig too. Right. Woo, look at this tank, yo. Bro, that could have been mine. Look at this guy. That would have been the biggest one of the day. Bro. Dude, this is a big one right here. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Am I still still in there? No. <laughs> look at this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> look at the mouth on this tank. Hey, dude. Holy shizzles.